a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Kinston, North Carolina Kinston is a city in Lenoir County, North Carolina, United States. The population was 21,677 at the 2010 census. It has been the county seat of Lenoir County since its formation in 1791. Kinston is located in the Coastal Plains region of eastern North Carolina. In 2009, Kinston won the All-America City Award. This marks the second time in 21 years the city has won the title, the last time being in 1988. Early History At the time of English settlement, the area was inhabited by the Noisioc Indians. Preceding the historic tribe, indigenous peoples of a variety of cultures had lived in the area for thousands of years. Before the English colonists established the city, they called the area Atkins Bank, referring to a bluff once owned by Robert Atkins just above the News River. Atkins Bank was the site of farms, a tobacco warehouse, and a Church of England mission. Kinston was created by an act of the North Carolina General Assembly in December 1762 as Kingston in honor of King George III who had just recently ascended to the throne. The bill, to incorporate it was introduced by Richard Caswell, who made his home there, and later served as the first governor of the state of North Carolina from 1776 to 1780. After victory in the American Revolution, the citizens renamed the city Kinston in 1784, to show the population's disavowal of royalty. In 1833, Kinston briefly became Caswell, in honor of Governor Richard Caswell, but the name was reverted to Kinston the following year. Commissioners appointed to design the town began to accept subscriptions for numbered lots. To keep a lot, subscribers were required to build brick homes of specific dimensions within three years or lose their rights to the property. The town was laid out with border streets named East, North, and South, with the western border the News River. The two principal roads within these borders were named for King George and Queen Charlotte. They remain King and Queen Street to this day. Other streets were named in honor of Governor Dobbs and the commissioners. In December 1791, an act was passed in the General Assembly to abolish Dobbs County and form Lenoir and Glasgow counties. At that time, Kinston was designated the county seat for Lenoir County. Throughout this period, Kinston was an unincorporated town. It finally became incorporated through an act of the legislature in January 1849. Following incorporation, the population grew rapidly. In 1850, the population was estimated at 455 people, and just 10 years later, it had more than doubled to over 1,000. Civil War During the onset of the American Civil War, Camp Campbell and Camp Johnston were established near the city as training camps, and a bakery on Queen Street was converted to produce hardtack in large quantities. There was also a factory for the production of shoes for the military located in Kinston. The Battle of Kinston took place in and around the city on December 14, 1862. The Battle of Wise for KKA, Battle of Southwest Creek, also occurred very near the city. It was at this later battle that the Confederate Ram News was scuttled to avoid capture by Union troops. Remnants of the ship have been salvaged and are on display at Richard Caswell Park on West Vernon Avenue. A climate-controlled museum has been built on downtown Queen Street and has moved the Hulk there to prevent further deterioration of the original ship's remains. A full-scale replica vessel has been constructed near the original's resting place beside the bank of the News River on Heritage Street in Kinston. Union Army forces occupied the city following the battle. United States troops were assigned to the area through the Reconstruction era. Post-Reconstruction 
Despite the hardships of war and reconstruction, the population of the city continued to grow. By 1870, the population had increased to 1,100 people and grew to more than 1,700 within a decade. During the late 19th century, there was expansion into new areas of industry, most notably the production of horse-drawn carriages. Kinston also became a major tobacco and cotton trading center. By the start of the 20th century, more than five million pounds of tobacco were being sold annually in Kinston's warehouses. Along with the growth in population and industry was a growth in property values. Some parcels increased in value more than fivefold within a 20-year period. 20th century New industries were founded, including lumber and cotton mills, as North Carolina businessmen invested in processing their own crops. Professional sports was introduced in the form of a minor league baseball team. Later growth would come in the form of a DuPont plant for the manufacture of polyester fibers and manufacturing plants for pharmaceuticals. Growth finally slowed following the 1960s, with the shift in textile production overseas. Efforts to reinvigorate the economy through various means have had limited success. Kinston was heavily impacted by flooding in 1996 and 1999. Hurricane Front struck the North Carolina coast on September 5, 1996 and brought 16 inches of rain to the area, causing the News River to flood portions of the city. On September 16, 1999, Hurricane Floyd struck the area, bringing 17 inches of rain. It caused what locals have called the flood of the century. The National Register of Historic Places lists the American Tobacco Company Prisory, Atlantic and North Carolina Railroad Freight Depot, Baptist Parsonage, Robert L. Blalock House, B.W. Canady House, CSS News, Hill Granger Historic District, Hotel Kinston, Jesse Jackson House, Kennedy Memorial Home Historic District, Kinston Apartments, Kinston Baptist White Rock Presbyterian Church, Kinston Battlefield, Kinston Commercial Historic District, Kinston Fire Station City Hall, Lenoir County Courthouse, Mitchelltown Historic District, People's House, People's Bank Building, Queen Gordon Streets Historic District, Standard Drug No. 2, Sumrall and McCoy Building, Trianon Historic District, Tullworth Holland Farm, and Dempsey Wood House. Government and Infrastructure The North Carolina Department of Public Safety operates the Dobbs Youth Development Center, Juvenile Correctional Facility in Kinston. The facility, which opened in 1944, serves both boys. The prisoner capacity is 44. In the 2017 municipal elections, Democrat candidate Don Terrio Hardy beat incumbent B.J. Murphy by a margin of 205 votes. City Councilman Robert A. Swinson IV was re-elected alongside newcomer Crystal Suggs, completing Kinston's first-ever All-African-American City Council. Healthcare Kinston is serviced by UNC Lenoir Healthcare a non-profit hospital located near NC-11 in Kinston. The hospital offers inpatient, outpatient, and preventive health care services for the residents of Lenoir, Green and Jones counties. General services include general medical, surgical, obstetrical and gynecological care. Specialized services include cardiology, pulmonology, oncology, radiology, urology, and vascular surgery. Passenger Kinston is not served directly by passenger trains. The closest Amtrak station is located in Wilson. Air Kinston is served by the Kinston Regional Jet Port. Raleigh Durham International Airport is the closest major airport with service to more than 45 domestic and international destinations. 
Kinston Regional Jetport is the site from which Bill Harrelson of Fredericksburg, VA embarked and to which he returned on his Guinness World Record setting around the globe over the poles. Flight in his custom-built Lancair N6ZQ over the time period deck 2014 Jan 2015 Religion as with most of North Carolina, Kinston is predominantly Protestant, with large concentrations of Baptists, Methodists, and various other evangelical groups. Episcopalians, Presbyterian, and Disciples of Christ also constitute a significant portion of the population. The Roman Catholic community in Kinston has seen steady growth over the years, with the migration of Hispanic workers to the area. Also, Catholic migrants have also come from the northeastern United States who work for the North Carolina Global Transpark, and in nearby Greenville, North Carolina. Kinston at one time had a sizable Jewish community. As with most Jewish communities in the rural South, it has seen a steady decline. Temple Israel, Kinston's only synagogue, has only 20 members and does not have a rabbi. Arts and Theatre One of Kinston's most notable buildings is the Granger Hill Performing Arts Center, formerly Granger High School, constructed in 1924 after a fire destroyed the previous Kinston High School building. The school was named after Jesse W. Granger, a local truck farmer who owned the land that the school was built upon and donated money to fund one half of the building's $182,340 general contractor's fee. After the school's closure in 1970 to make way for the newly integrated Kinston High School, the building was sold to a private developer who renovated the school and turned it into a performing arts center. The property was most recently sold to the Landmark Development Group, who has renovated the building into Granger Elderly Housing, a 57-unit apartment complex for a low-income elderly residence. Tourism and Recreation The News Regional Library System is headquartered in Kinston and operates branches in Kinston. The Grange, Pink Hill, as well as locations in Green and Jones counties. Kinston is also home to the CSS News which is listed on the National Register of Historic Places, which has its remains on display in the CSS News Civil War Interpretive Center, the Lenoir County Confederate Memorial, the Caswell Family Cemetery, and the Lenoir County Korean and Vietnam War Memorial are located nearby. There is also a Civil War Trails marker. The Cultural Heritage Museum, built in 2000 on South Queen Street as a new economic development catalyst for Kinston, and the surrounding areas of eastern North Carolina, was created to recognize the contributions of African Americans in numerous fields. It pays tribute to the more than 200,000 black soldiers and 7,000 white officers of the United States colored troops who fought with the Union forces in the American Civil War. It also honors black military veterans from all wars, Carl Long and the Negro Baseball League players, local heroes, and Africa, and black history in general. The CHM intends to generate jobs and promote economic expansion opportunities. Kinston is also home to several notable restaurants. The Chef, by Vivian Howard and Ben Knight, is located in downtown Kinston. The PBS reality cooking show, A Chef's Life, focuses on the restaurant, owners, and local farmers it sources. From Light Brothers Farm, the Barn Steakhouse, and the Barra, and meats on their menus while supporting sustainable agriculture, also a proponent of sustainable practices and local ingredients. Mother Earth Brewing was founded in Kinston in the summer of 2008. Other notable businesses and restaurants include the Overland Gallery, Ginger 108, the Boiler Room, the O'Neill Bed 
and breakfast, the Bentley B. Other local attractions include the Nursway Nature Center and Planetarium, the Kinston Country Club, the Kinston Center for the Arts, the Global Transit Park, Granger Stadium, the Caswell Center, and Lenoir Memorial Hospital. Annual festivities in Kinston include the Sand in the Streets concert series held at Pearson Park, the annual barbecue festival on the News River, and the festival on the News. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?